Hello everyone, how's it going? Um, I've been meaning to show my latest batch of comics off for some time now and uh, I've finally found the, found the time as I've been uh, very busy lately. Um, you know, I've got some graphic novels to show off, uh, some comics and a grab bag. But uh, first of all, I'm going to show you a print that I've picked up recently. So. I'll show you that now. I picked this up in my hometown a few days ago from a shop called Bazaar Bazaar. And this is a print of uh, Weird Fantasy number 13. The very first issue, actually. A really great cover. Now, I didn't pay very much for this saw it in the shop window and it caught my eye so I thought why not so there's that and before I show uh, the comic books um, I'd just like to say a big thanks to all the people who have been commenting on my videos uh, such as Stromfli Schwann I can pronounce his name now <laughs> um, Hippie Collectibles and uh, 74 Susu, plus all the other wonderful people who have been commenting. I thank you very much for that. So, anyway, I'm going to kick off now. This is a graphic novel, uh, Batman Venom. Great story if you've never read it. I'll check this one out. Really good. They're all reprinted in uh, Tales of the Dark Knight, or Legend of the Dark Knight, sorry. <laughs> um, I'll carry on the graphic novels. This is uh, Batman Nightfall, part one. Broken Bat. Superior story, this one. So great. I kind of like having it in graphic novel format because there's so many comics to be uh, picked up of this story. You know, it's probably best to buy it all as one batch if you're going to buy all the comics. But um, anyway, this is uh, part two of Nightfall. Uh, Who rules the night? And there's a part three as well, but um, I'm yet to get that one. Anyway, uh, now onto the comics. Uh, this one's from 1987. This is uh, Black Moon number two. He looks as though he's a cross between Judge Dredd and Spider-Man. I suppose there's a bit of an influence of the Punisher there as well. That's from uh, US Comics. Well, I've got some Avengers ones to show you now. This is uh, Avengers 158, Wonder Man vs. Vision. Avengers 156, taking on Doctor Doom. Avengers number 151, really cool Kirby artwork. Teaming up with Dan Atkins. Avengers 150, really nice cover. Avengers number 149. By the way, all these comics I would say are in very fine, these Avengers ones. I really like this cover. Avengers number 146. In fact, I like most of these covers. Uh, number 141. And we have uh, number 138. I picked all these Avengers comics up as uh, one batch I got on eBay. Really good deal. Uh, Avengers number 137. 
If there's any glare, I do apologise. Um, Avengers 1, 3, 5, Vision vs Ultron. This is all also about um, when the Human Torch became the Vision. So there's that one. This is a battle issue and also a semi-key issue. This is the first appearance of the Slasher, who is this guy here. And a nice cover as well. And the final Avengers comic we've got is uh, number 71. This is also a key issue, the first appearance of the Invaders. Again, I didn't pay very much for these Avengers comics, so I'm very happy with these. Alright, next off we've got um, Justice League of America number 21. Beautiful comic, lovely condition. This is also a key issue, this is the very first Crisis comic where uh, the Justice League of America meet the Justice Society of America for the first time. I'm really chuffed with this one. And we've got the continuing part. This is uh, Justice League of America number 22. They're both from 1963. Both lovely covers. Next we've got uh, Captain America number 116 and this was a great find, I didn't pay very much for this at all. And I would say this is in fine condition. Nice cover with the Avengers and the Red Skull on the front. I think that's a Gene Colan cover. So. Right, now we're going to go older now, um, golden age, uh, we've got Captain Midnight number 54 from Fawcett Comics, great sci-fi cover, but unfortunately I do, do not know who the artist is at all, if anyone can give me any idea who it is that would be great, lovely cover, and I would say this is a VG copy. that one and uh, next one we've got uh, Daredevil number 20 only picked this up a couple of days ago actually this one great cover I really like the owl base in the background there again I would say this is in uh, fine condition this one Last of the comic books, we've got um, a really classic one here from EC, 1952 original. This is uh, Weird Fantasy number 16. Beautiful Al Feldstein cover. I've yet to read this comic, but I am going to get round to it very as soon as possible. I really do want to read this. Absolutely beautiful cover nice condition as well. So there we are, that's the comic books. I've got one more to show you now. This is a grab bag from 1978. This is uh, all new collector's edition. This is uh, Superman vs Shazam. I'm really happy to have this one. I've been after this, co this book for years now. It's not very easy to come by in the UK. Yeah, I ordered this from the USA. So yeah, I'm very happy with this. I would say this is in fine plus, this copy. So yeah, I'm very chuffed with that. Great Buckler Giordano cover. There's some good fighting in it as well. I'm not too sure about the story so much. Not really the best of stories, but 
the artwork's fantastic in, inside. So I do recommend picking this one up. So there we go, Superman vs. Shazam. Right, um, I had to do a quick video here because, again, I'm going to be busy later on. Um, I'm off out on the drink tonight with a load of mates I ain't seen for a few years, and also there's a couple of birthday, you know, a couple of people who are celebrating their birthdays as well. One of them is my uh, very best friend, Paul. So, uh, yeah, that wraps up another video, and I'll do another one soon. Uh, probably going to be a Doctor Who one again, so... Okay, take care of yourselves. Thank you very much. See you soon. Cheers.